Hi everybody, and I'm sure you'll recognize the guy sitting next to me. This is Martin Hiller, from the, he's the GM of the South African FIBO. And Martin, how do, are we on sort of how many hours to go? Two hours to go? I um, yeah, <laughs> believe so. I'm quite sad to actually close the festival, but there's always next year. Yes. So yeah, um, three days of so much fun and excitement. I mean, I was just talking to someone. It's so difficult to explain the atmosphere if you're not here. Yes. You know, it's like you have to be here to truly experience it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can hear the noise behind me. It's really been like this for three days. It's been non-stop. They're, all the studios have been jam-packed. People have been flocking to the talks to learn about healthy eating, best practice when it comes to exercises. And when we met the first time, we said there was something for everybody. Yes. And we really did do that offering. Sure. I mean, we yeah. had aerobics, we had Zumba. There's a lot, we're doing Capoeira for the first time as one of the closing things. Yes. Um, so there really has been just it's jam-packed and the atmosphere has truly been electrifying. Yes, and I've had that guy talk over me the whole time. But it's really, it's that, it's that sort of energy that has been here. So congratulations on putting it together, a fantastic show. Thanks so much. And I, you know, it's, it's really, it's for, for the consumers, it's for the trade, and that's really what it's about. I mean, we could bring all the classes there, but if no one comes, then obviously it's just the shell. So it's really about people, and I really feel that that's what fitness is about. It's about finding your niche, finding your community, and FIBA really has brought everyone under one roof, and you really can find what you want to do and what's going to make you move. Yeah, but the other side of it, I mean, there's all the activities, but it's also the information that you brought through so all these knowledgeable people. I mean. We've had some great people that sat down here with us to talk to us. So, so congrats on that as well, to get the best of the best, the, the smartest people in the industry as well. I think it really is about knowledge transfer. And, yeah. you know, I always say this thing, and it, stealing from Oprah, but it's about having that aha moment. Yeah. And in order to do that, you have to be able to learn and hear how other people have done it. So, you know, you have mentioned that there's been high-profile people here, but there's also been people who have lost 27 kilograms and have been sharing their stories. Story. Yes. So it's really about finding that thing to kickstarting you and be like, you know, I can do it. Yes, we've got the CrossFit Games and I'm sure you've already spoken to people and they have the six packs and they tone and look absolutely amazing. Yes. But that's not what fitness is always about. It's also about living a healthy life. Yes. And there are those general people who are active and they've got something there for them as well. So, you know, it really is about, and it goes back to what I said earlier, it's about finding what makes you feel comfortable. Yes. And I really feel that that's what FIBO has been able to do and achieve for a second time here. Yes, yeah. And, and I mean, this weekend you had quite a lot of competition with the Rugby World Cup Finals and all of that sort of stuff. But it seemed like you got some nice crowds in. No, definitely. And, you know, like I was telling you, the atmosphere is electric. And it goes back to what I said right in the beginning. It's like, it's so difficult to actually be able to describe it and, and let you know about it. Because, you know, you can say that it's electrifying and there's something yes, happening. Yeah. But you truly have to be here. And, you know, that's what that's what fitness, health and wellness is. It's not a bystander. Yes. You actually have to immerse yourself into it. Absolutely. So I'm encouraging everyone, save the date. We're always around the last weekend of October. Okay. So just put it in your calendar now. So if you missed out, I'm sorry, you really did miss out on okay. something. Okay. So looking forward to next year. Have you got in, in mind yet? What are the big surprises? Or is so, it too early to say? No, no, we like obviously need to think about what's happening next yeah. year. And for us, one of the major things that are coming out there, and it's group fitness, it's, it's one of the trends that are definitely happening. Um, so our move studio, we had to turn people away. Um, we were oversubscribed. Um, but you know, it was also unique and different things that we weren't doing. So it wasn't just a simple aerobics class. It was dance aerobics. Yes. Or we twerking. had twerking. We had <laughs> boxing. It was all different forms of exercise. And that's what I think people are looking for. They're tired of the same thing over and over again. Yes. So that's what we're definitely doing. Um, some of the feedback that we already got is that like they want some beginner classes. So we're going to rate classes to say, if you're a beginner, okay. rather come to this class yeah. if you advance and can keep up I mean I can't even do half of the stuff that I saw here <laughs> happening today yeah. I just my jaw was on the floor half of the time yes. I have no coordination and I thought I was a fit person yeah. Um, so yeah definitely more group classes um, and yeah so it's really going to be just bigger and better okay fantastic well thank you so much for taking time I know you you uh, have still got a few things to do but then winding down yeah yeah and uh, we look forward to seeing you next year so I'll accept my invite now thank you well I'm going to say it on camera so we'll see you next year. Yes.